Hi everyone, it's Mackenzie. Welcome back to my channel. Today I actually have a what sold video to share with you guys. So it is um, Tuesday, November 12th. Yesterday was Monday. It was Veterans Day. Um, shout out to our veterans. Thank you so much for your service and everything you've done for our country. Um, and because it was Veterans Day, the post office was closed. So I still have all of my weekend sales here. I will be shipping them today. Um, but I figured, why not do a what sold video? This was definitely a decent weekend for me. Um, Friday was the closet clear out sale. Um, if you're not familiar, that's where you drop your prices by at least 10% of their lowest historic price that they've ever been. Um, and Poshmark will send out a notification to everyone that has liked the item saying that um, the item has been discounted. And they will off also offer the um, likers a discounted shipping price. And that discount comes out of Poshmark's um, pocket and not um, us as the seller, which is awesome. Um, so I love to take advantage of closet clear out every once in a while. I definitely don't do it every time they run the sale, um, but every once in a while I will partake. And I did have some good full price sales from that. You'll see them in just a minute. So um, this is going to go over my sales from Friday, November 8th until yesterday, Monday the 11th. Um, and I will give my earnings for each item or bundle, um, but I will not disclose cost of goods for each item. I will do that at the end. So I will give the cost of goods that I paid for everything. Um, and so you will see my net profit at the end. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, okay, so first off for Friday, I had this skirt by Retrolicious, which is sold at Mod Cloth sometimes. I'm not sure if it's Mod Cloth exclusive, but the brand is Retrolicious. This is a size medium, and this is a printed cat skirt. How cute is this skirt? I believe the style name was the Sketched Cats skirt, and I knew when I picked this up that it would do really well. Anything with a novelty print um, usually does pretty well for me. I figured this would sell before Halloween, but it didn't, but that's fine. Um, people love cats. So this skirt was listed for a few months before it sold for the full asking price of $40. Someone just came along and bought it full price. This was not price dropped or anything. Um, I did buy this skirt at Goodwill, so always check the skirt section. That's just a side note. I have found some of my best finds. I mentioned this in my last video, my Thread Up Lux video. I've found some of my best finds in the skirt section. Uh, my Poshmark earnings for the skirt were $32. Okay, next sale on Friday. This is a Grateful Dead Burnout Pullover Long Sleeve Top. And I just listed this. Um, I picked it up last week at my local outlet. Um, you would have seen that in a thrift haul if you watch my channel. I listed it at $35 and it sold for full asking price just a couple hours after listing. I think maybe even only one hour after listing. Um, and my earnings were $28. Okay, next up we have a pair of shoes. These are Paul Green, and these are beautiful leather booties. They are in amazing condition. Um, and I actually grabbed those boots at the Goodwill Outlet in Austin. They were originally listed at $125, and then price dropped to $95 after a few months of being listed. I did receive an offer of $60, and I accepted it. My earnings after fees were $48. Okay, next sale on Friday. This is a Free People kind of swing style sweater. The style name on this is the Sunday sweater. S-U-N-D-A-E was how they spelled it. Um, this is really cute. It is a larger size. I believe the size tag is missing, but I think it measured larger. Um, I also grabbed that sweater from the bins in Austin. It, it does have a little bit of pilling. Um, obviously, I did disclose that, and it was listed for a few months at $30. So when I received an offer of $20, I happily accepted, and my earnings were $16. Okay, next up we have a Mod Cloth 
scalloped off the shoulder midi dress. This is really pretty. It's a wine color. This is another um, pretty newly listed item. I did grab that with the holidays in mind. I listed it around $60 and then price dropped to $45 for the closet clear out sale. It was purchased outright so the buyer did get the discounted shipping price and my earnings were $36. Okay, next up we have this vintage Giorgio Armani um, vintage silk blazer. This is long line, it's really really pretty. Um, it does have the structured shoulders, um, so I do love this, this piece. This was another item that I price dropped for the closet clear out sale. It was listed around $75 and then reduced to $58. Someone purchased it outright, making my earnings $46 with 40 cents. I actually also, or I did, I grabbed this uh, blazer from the bins here in Houston. Um, so that was obviously a great find. That was a great ROI on that piece. Um, this is Anthropology. The sub brand is Field Flower. This is a size small. This is so cute. It's an umbrella printed. Um, sweater with the asymmetric hem. Again, we have a novelty print. People are crazy for novelty prints. I usually always pick them up. Um, I did price drop this sweater for closet clear out and it was purchased outright. Again, the buyer did receive the discounted shipping. I think it was originally listed around $38. Um, I did reduce it to $25 for the sale. My earnings were $20. Okay, another pair of shoes. These are Ugg loafers, really cute. These are called the Kaylee loafers. They have some embroidery on top there. Um, those were yet another bins fine from Austin. So they are not in um, amazing condition. They you know, are definitely still wearable, super cute. Um, but they do have a little bit more wear than I typically pick up. However, I wanted to grab them because they were, you know, at the bins and they're a good brand. Um, but they are, they're not Ugg's most popular style of shoe. Obviously, they're not like the Ugg boots. Um, so I wasn't, you know, expecting to make a huge profit when I grabbed them. They were listed at $20 and I accepted an offer of $15, um, leaving me with $12. Okay, one more pair of shoes. These are Nine West, really cute. They're like a lace-up denim, um, kind of pointed toe flat. Okay, so like the Ugg loafers, I grabbed those at a half-off sale for $2 and was only expecting a small profit based on brand and condition. Um, Nine West is not a brand that I grab all the time. Um, it doesn't seem to have like a super substantial resale value and they also had some minor discoloration on the toes. Um, but they were $2. I thought the style was really cute. You know, I knew I could make at least, you know, seven, ten dollars After a few months of being listed at $15, I was ready to move them out of my closet and accepted an offer of $10, making my earnings $7. So shoes are super easy to um, take photos of and list for me. So, um, you know, I'm fine with a $7 profit from those and it kind of just keeps the momentum going. Okay, so Saturday sales, uh, we're moving on to Saturday now. First off, we have this Ted Baker pleated maxi dress. The style name or the print name on this is the Electric Daydream print. So pretty, it does have the belt still attached. That's always awesome when you can find that at the thrift store. Um, so I actually also picked up this dress at the bins in Austin. Excuse me. I was very excited to find that. It was listed for a few months at $125 and then reduced to $88. I received an offer of $50 and I decided to take it. Mainly because this dress is a spring summer item and we are going into the coldest part of the year. Um, also, I have a firm belief that if you are accepting offers when Poshmark is on a roll, it really keeps the momentum going, like I was just mentioning, and in turn, it keeps the offers and sales rolling in. So after Poshmark fees, my earnings for this dress were $40.
Okay, next up we have a Torrid sweater. And Torrid is a great bread and butter piece. Um, it usually sells pretty quickly for me, especially the cute trendy pieces like this sweater. Um, I recently bought this sweater for two dollars at or for two dollar day at my local outlet. You would have seen it again in a recent haul. It was listed at $22 for about a week before I received an offer of $19 and I did accept. After posh fees, my earnings came out to $12 with 50 cents. Sorry, $15 with 20 cents. Um, okay, moving on, we have a pair of Sundance cargo pants. I really like these pants. Um, I was excited to find them. I just did a quick uh, research of them at Goodwill and I could see that Sundance cargo pants, like specifically the cargo pants, do really well um, from the Sundance brand. So I was pretty excited. They're also from this year. They're from 2019. It's on the tag somewhere. So I definitely wanted to grab these. These were another quick seller. Um, I bought them from Goodwill about a week or two ago. I was excited. Oh, again, I just mentioned that. Okay, so they were listed at $65 for a short time before I received an offer of $45, which I did accept, making my Poshmark earnings $36. Okay, next up we have a, I'm not sure how you say this brand, Hot Hippie. Um, size extra small really pretty 100% silk drape front blouse and I've had this blouse for a quite a long time maybe even about a year now um, I was pretty ready to move it out I received an offer of $18 for it and I quickly accepted my earnings were $14 and 40 cents okay moving on to Sunday sales First off, we have a Wild Fox white label sweater. This is an Angora blend sweater, so it's a little bit higher quality than Wild Fox. Um, they're typical, like, um, super soft, kind of stretchy rayon material sweaters. It says, shopping is my cardio in sequins. Super cute. I actually grabbed that with the Holidays in Mind. Again, another super recent pickup. Um, it was only listed for a couple weeks at $38 before I received an offer of $32 and I did accept. After fees, my earnings were $25 with 60 cents. Okay, moving on, we have this Eli Tahari or Eli Tahari, I'm not sure. 100% um, merino wool sweater. It's really pretty. It's kind of like a structured fit. And then it has these cutouts all down both sleeves. So I don't usually pick up this brand. However, again, it was 100% merino wool, which is a super, you know, great quality item. Um, it's in, It was in excellent condition, and I believe I only paid about a dollar for it. I've had it for about six months. I did relist it for a couple times, or I did relist it a couple times. It was listed at $25 when I received an offer of $18.00 and I did accept, making my Poshmark earnings $14 with 40 cents. Okay, next we have a bundle. We have a Spiritual Gangster size large um, printed sweatshirt. It's super soft, it's kind of that varsity vibe. This was another pretty recent find, as well as this one. It's also Spiritual Gangster size large. Um, just a graphic tank, it says all I see is magic. And third item in the bundle are these Vince Railroad Striped Pants. Very soft, just kind of a casual trouser pant. So all three of these items ha had been listed for under a month um, before selling. The buyer added everything to a bundle and then I sent her an offer of $60, which she countered to $40 and I accepted. My earnings came out to $32 for the bundle. Okay, next up, another bundle. First off, we have this JOA, you can see that, which stands for just one answer. It's a tie sleeve 
sweater. How cute is that? It has a color block going on. Um, and this Kate Spade purse. So I was really excited about this bundle because um, this purse is the first purse from my thread up um, mystery box of purses. I got like three purses and two accessories. This is the first item from that box to sell. So that was exciting. Um, it, the buyer bundled both items and then offered me $68, which I did accept. So the purse does have some wear to the suede and I did grab this JOA sweater. Um, on $2 day at my local outlet. So I was happy with the offer price for this bundle with all things considered. My earnings after Poshmark piece came out to $54 with 40 cents. Okay, next up we have this pair of Athleta Metro slouchy jogger pants. And these are really cute. They have the elastic waist, zippered pockets in front, um, and then kind of the cinched ankles. They are a size large. Athleta pants, especially in the larger sizes, have been doing really well for me recently. Um, so I will definitely be picking them up more often. So these were only listed for about a month and they did have a lot of interest. I had them listed at $35 and after receiving an offer of $20, I checked sold comparables um, and accepted the offer. So I um, haven't always picked up Athleta, um, you know, athletic pants, I guess. Um, and so I wasn't super familiar with the, you know, uh, price, the market price, I guess you'd say that they sell for on Poshmark. Um, and so when that happens, I just check the comparables, um, whenever I get offers and if they line up with that, I will accept the offer. My earnings were $16. Okay, and then last sale on Sunday is this Madewell Texture and Thread Wrap Top. And this is a size small, really cute. It's textured, and then it has this tie at the bottom. Um, it's in excellent condition. I had this top for a few months now and was ready to move it out. The buyer offered me $15 when the top was listed at $22, and I did take the offer. My earnings were $12. Okay, on to Monday sales. Um, we just have a few. First off is this vintage Lucky Brand Elbow Patch Printed Thermal. So this is so cute. I liked the print. This is more of a, this is an older Lucky Brand piece. Um, here are the elbow patches. They're like a velvet. Um, again, this top was purchased at the Goodwill Outlet in Austin. I probably paid about a dollar for it. It was listed at 18 and I accepted an offer of $10. Again, it is an older brand or an older lucky brand uh, piece. And with the cost of goods being so low, I had more room for profit with this particular piece. My Poshmark earnings came out to $7 with five cents. Okay, next up, this is an Everlane. This is a Ponty knit shift dress really nice this is a great staple piece you can dress it up or down size small it was originally listed at fifty dollars and then price dropped to forty five dollars after being listed for about one month and receiving a couple offers of thirty dollars i accepted one and my earnings came out to twenty four dollars okay next up we have this calvin klein performance sweatshirt and um, I mentioned this in the haul video when I picked this up that I don't typically pick up Calvin Klein items unless they are like cool vintage um, pieces. However, this does have the Calvin Klein spell out logo down both arms. And I also really like the color on this. Um, so that's why I grabbed it. However, it did have a couple spots um, down here at the bottom, which again, I obviously disclosed. Um, and I did grab that from the bins. So it was only about a dollar. I received an offer of $12. Um, it was listed at 20. I did accept. Again, it had those um, few small spots. Um, so I was fine with the offer. My earnings came out to $9 with five cents. Okay, so last sale um, from yesterday, Monday, was a good human 
thankful long sleeve so really cute this is my first time picking up this brand um, you might be able to see it a little bit better here and it's a graphic printed long sleeve it's super soft it has that casual vibe with the drop shoulder it just says thankful I picked this up with Thanksgiving in mind I'm so glad it sold um, before then I think it will be a great Thanksgiving top um, it's so yeah I was excited for that to sell um, it was listed at $28 the buyer offered me 25 which was obviously super reasonable I accepted making my Poshmark earnings $20 um, okay, so that's it for my sales from Friday until Monday. Let's go over my totals. So my gross sales for the weekend um, came out to $710. After Poshmark fees were deducted, um, my earnings came out to $568. My cost of goods for everything that I showed um, were $97. And my net profit was $471. So that's it for my video. I hope this was helpful and informative. Um, I think what sold videos are super important for that well-rounded information. Um, and so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys soon. Bye!